Welcome back to Mid Morning. So good to have you here. And happening this weekend, some of Lexington's biggest names are showing off their dance moves for a good cause. Here to tell us more about Dancing with the Lexington Stars is Krinda Frankie. Krinda, we appreciate you being here. You and I both know that this is a lot of work, but also a lot of fun. So for people who maybe aren't familiar, tell us a little bit more about Dancing with the Lexington Stars. Yeah, uh, yes, and we do know quite a bit about it. I actually was a dancer twice. I danced and then I came back for the All-Stars Division. And this year I had the extreme privilege of being the honorary chairperson and one of the judges. And I'm looking forward to that because it's a lot less pressure being on this side, right? right. <laughs> uh, and I don't know about you, Andrea, but uh, I was really surprised at how much hard work it was. I thought, you know, I've got this, <clears throat> excuse me, I was a cheerleader, I've got rhythm, I was in band. I mean, I know the dance moves, but anyway, it's a lot of hard work. It's a whole it, different world, that's for sure. It's a whole different world and everybody's judging every little step your foot makes. There you um, go. And then this year, an opportunity really, in a way, for more people than ever uh, to see it because uh, there'll be a, a virtual element, right? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I do wanna give a big shout out to um, the Rotary Committee um, and obviously our sponsors, um, Arthur Murray, it couldn't happen without um, Hunter and all of his folks over there. Uh, CHI, St. Joseph Healthcare, they've been very instrumental because it has been challenging to find a way to bring the experience to Lexington and to the dancers in such a different way. So, so this year we have six dancers and over the past two weeks, they've been at the Kentucky Castle filming their dances where Andrea, you and I had the pressure of doing it live, but it's pressure nonetheless, right? Uh, so next Saturday or this coming Saturday, May 8th, it'll be streaming live at our website, Dancing with the Lexington Stars. So it doesn't matter where you're located. People anywhere and everywhere can join in the fun, watch the dancers compete, and most importantly, get those votes in and bid on the auction items. Because yes, it's a lot of fun. It's a great event, but the most important thing is that we do wanna raise money for the charities that are, are being the uh, benefactors from this activity. I know surgery on Sunday is one thing that is always um, kind of inconsistent when it comes to this event, and it's such a wonderful program. Can you tell us more about that and, and what this program does to ensure that, that that one keeps going? Yeah, so surgery on Sunday, I, a lot of people don't even know it exists, but surgeons, nurses, clinical staff, there's they all volunteer their time and surgery on Sunday's passion is making a difference in lives one surgery at a time. So they provided much needed surgeries for either uninsured or underinsured folks. And they really do, they change people's lives and it's just selfless hours of mm -hmm. giving. So this is one of the largest events that helps keep that um, charity going and, and all of the important work they do. And of course, the Lexington Rotary Endowment Fund is also a benefactor of the Dancing with the Stars event, and they do all kinds of outreach programs with children and um, socially economic challenged folks, um, people again without insurance or, or that have needs that reach beyond some of the programs. Right. So the event is this Saturday, May 8th, and it's going to run from 7 to 8, and you can go to DancingWithTheLexingtonStars.com for more information. Krenda, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Thank you. We Real do. Real quick, auction items are live. Oh, okay. okay. So you did take part in that as well. Appreciate you yes. as always, Krenda. Thank you so All much. Right, thank you. What